Why does an aircraft carrier, this maritime behemoth, require torpedo tubes that seem outdated? Behind this counterintuitive choice lies a technological revolution in China's carrier underwater defense. As images of the Fujian aircraft carrier cutting through the waves in the East China Sea spread worldwide, observant military enthusiasts spotted two sets of meticulously arranged six tube launchers. These devices, arranged in a unique configuration of three tubes each on upper and lower tiers, immediately sparked intense discussion among global military analysts. Why would a modern electromagnetic catapult-equipped carrier require such seemingly traditional launchers? The answer may reveal a major transformation in China's carrier defense systems. Judging by their external features, these launchers bear striking resemblance to the 324mm lightweight torpedo tubes currently deployed on China's active destroyers and frigates. However, Deeper analysis reveals that as the core of the carrier strike group, the carrier itself does not need to directly perform anti-submarine duties. Therefore, the true purpose of this system warrants further investigation. After comprehensive analysis, these two six-tube systems are likely crucial components of China's newly developed anti-torpedo defense system. This design marks a revolutionary leap in China's carrier underwater defense capabilities, transitioning from passive interception to active hunting. Compared to the FQF-6012 tube 300mm rocket-propelled depth charge launchers deployed on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers, this modification on the Fujian stands out as particularly noteworthy. While rocket-propelled depth charges function as area coverage weapons capable of establishing protective barriers over a certain range, their effectiveness in intercepting modern smart torpedoes increasingly falls short of operational demands, especially as underwater threats grow more complex and intelligent. Traditional depth charge systems often prove inadequate. Anti-torpedo torpedoes represent a fundamentally new defensive approach, rather than merely creating explosive barriers around the vessel. They launch a small, intelligent torpedo to directly and precisely destroy incoming enemy torpedoes. This shift in defense philosophy stems from the severe threat modern torpedoes pose to surface vessels. Four large surface ships like aircraft carriers, the damage caused by a torpedo explosion below the waterline far exceeds that of conventional anti-ship missiles. Water's incompressibility allows the shockwave from the explosion to transmit more effectively to the hull structure, causing damage ranging from hull breaches and flooding to hull fractures or even sinking. Modern torpedo guidance technologies are also advancing rapidly. Take the U.S. Navy's MK-48 Mod 8 heavyweight torpedo as an example. It not only expands the frequency range of its sonar guidance array, but also incorporates fiber optic communication systems, enabling real-time guidance during attacks. More significantly, the U.S. has deployed the previous generation MK-48 torpedoes to regions like Japan and Australia, directly projecting strategic pressure onto China's periphery within the first island chain. Faced with these faster, smarter underwater threats, traditional soft-kill countermeasures like acoustic countermeasures and air-burst torpedoes have proven inadequate. Hard-kill anti-torpedo torpedoes have thus become a new strategic competition focus among major naval powers. The placement of these two launchers on the Fujian aircraft carrier reveals their strategic positioning along the hull's critical flanks, enabling seamless defensive coverage without blind spots. The compressed gas cylinders above the launchers indicate the use of cold launch technology. This method not only ensures rapid response, but also avoids exposing the target to high-temperature exhaust gases, making it highly suitable for defensive operations. Regarding the munition specifications for this system, most analyses suggest its caliber likely matches China's current 324mm anti-submarine torpedoes. This choice aligns with prevailing international trends, both the Franco-Italian Mu-90 HK and Russia's Pocket E. In K anti-torpedo torpedoes employ a similar 324mm diameter. In contrast, the smaller caliber approach chosen by Germany and the United States may have inherent limitations in actual combat. Reducing the torpedo's diameter inevitably shrinks the acoustic homing head, directly affecting the guidance system's detection range and measurement accuracy. More critically, smaller caliber anti-torpedo weapons face constraints on warhead payload, significantly reducing their kill radius and potentially diminishing their effectiveness against heavyweight torpedoes. From an operational perspective, once enemy torpedoes breach the outer and middle defense layers of an aircraft carrier strike group, the Fujian's anti-torpedo system activates immediately. First, the carrier's own towed sonar, or hull-mounted sonar conducts precise detection to determine the incoming torpedo's bearing, depth, and motion parameters. Upon acquiring complete firing parameters, the anti-torpedo system launches specialized counter-torpedoes. These defensive torpedoes activate their acoustic homing systems upon entry into the water 
charging toward the target at speeds exceeding 50 knots. Upon reaching the predetermined proximity, the counter torpedo detonates its warhead, generating a massive underwater shockwave to either directly destroy the incoming torpedo or disable its acoustic detection systems. The entire interception process may take only tens of seconds, enabling precise terminal phase elimination of torpedoes that breach defenses. In the global naval armament development landscape, anti-torpedo torpedo technology is emerging as a new focal point in the competition among major naval powers. The Franco-Italian Mu-90HK anti-torpedo torpedo, derived from the Mu-90 lightweight anti-submarine torpedo, features a diameter of 324 mm, a length of approximately 3 meters, and a weight of 300 kilograms. It achieves speeds exceeding 50 knots with a range of about 10 kilometers. It possesses high angle maneuverability of 100 degrees s, with extensive testing proving its effectiveness in intercepting heavy torpedoes. Rushes, Pocket E in K anti torpedo torpedo also employs a 324 mm caliber, achieving a maximum speed of 48.6 knots in a range of approximately 1,400 meters. It is equipped with an active, passive acoustic homing system with a target detection range of about 400 meters. Although the U.S. Navy pioneered the anti torpedo torpedo concept, its at system opted for a smaller 172 mm caliber. This choice resulted in persistent failure to meet operational requirements during testing, ultimately leading to the program's suspension. In recent years, the U.S. has shifted focus to developing the MK-58 compact anti-torpedo weapon, though its diameter remains only 171 mm, potentially limiting its performance compared to larger caliber systems. The Fujian aircraft carrier becomes the first modern carrier globally since the Cold War to feature dedicated torpedo launchers an innovation with profound significance. Reviewing carrier history, only semi-carriers like the Kiev class and Garibaldi, designed with battleship era thinking, installed torpedo tubes, while modern carriers like the Nimitz and Ford classes rely entirely on escort vessels for anti-submarine protection. By taking control of the final line of defense against torpedoes, China's carriers embody a new defensive philosophy. This innovation will not only serve the Fujian, but may also be extended to Type 055 destroyers. Type 054B frigates, and even nuclear submarines. This signifies a historic leap for the Chinese Navy's anti-submarine system, evolving from pure anti-submarine warfare to comprehensive anti-torpedo capabilities. As this anti-torpedo system matures, we will likely see it deployed on future Chinese main battle vessels, forming a comprehensive, multi-layered underwater defense network. This defense system not only effectively counters traditional underwater threats, but also provides more reliable security for China's carrier strike groups venturing into the deep blue. The Fujian 6-tube anti-torpedo system represents a concrete innovation in carrier defense for the Chinese Navy. It differs from any configuration on foreign carriers currently in service and surpasses the self-defense capabilities of China's first two carriers, showcasing the forward-thinking and innovative nature of the Chinese Navy's equipment development. From a broader perspective, this seemingly minor technical enhancement on the Fujian actually reflects a historic shift in the Chinese Navy's equipment development, transitioning from following and imitating to independent innovation. This transformation manifests not only in enhanced weapon performance, but also in innovative combat concepts and system design. As the Fujian continues its sea trials, further details of this anti-torpedo system may gradually emerge. At that point, we will be able to conduct a more comprehensive assessment of its technical characteristics and tactical value.